What's up everyone? This is Shasha SJ. Today we are going to review a craft tool by the Paper Studio. I think the craft tools are from Paper Studio. I don't know. Or this is just their brand. But I've seen this one. And let's see. Paper Studio. Okay. I remember guys, I'm not sponsored by them. And these are just the stuff that... um. Some people recommend that for me to review and so I'm reviewing it and I try it out and we'll see how this one goes because I'm new to craft. No, not new to craft, but I've been crafting long time. And I like to review some tools because sometimes it's just so hard to find the right tool. And I have a lot of email that they want me to review this and review that and I give it a try. So we'll see how this one goes. Okay guys. And today we are going to review the Paper Studio Craft Tool. Sorry about that noise. That was my drawer. This one. It's, it, this is this price. So. I really like it. It's not even open yet, so we'll see how this one goes. It says here in the description there is a scoring tool and you can emboss to shape the envelope. And there's some instructions on what would be the measurement that you want to make an envelope for. And we'll see how it goes, okay? So, let's open this. And if you want this item, guys, you check on the description down below and check them out, okay? Ooh, I like this. It's thin. Look at this. Super thin. Very handy. Super thin. It's thin line. You know when you make that in that... um. Martha Stewart card maker one and they were super thick and this one is super thin and they're kind of like separated I think this is where like you use the notch and then the corner and stuff for your card and we will play this one out because I don't know how okay this is when you have um, the paper you score it, oh, look at this, they have this scoring tool if I can take this one out here I hope <laughs> it's kind of like I'm scared to pull it out or break it in half oh my gosh <laughs> bear with me guys oh okay oh okay I'm pulling it wrong sorry so this one has a groove see this see I don't read instructions and I play around with my stuff just to make sure that the next time I know what I'm doing so this one you just slide it in and slide. So push and pull. Slide and stay. So you won't really run or like for accidentally some will pull it. It's not because it's locked in there. See that lock stage? You slide it through the left, from the left and pull it out. Okay. You slide it from the right and locked it. And it stays in there. Okay, so let's play around. And they have, oh, I like this because they have a, in every inch there's numbers in it. So it's one fourth, one half, three fourth, one and one fourth, all kinds of stuff. And it is engraved in there from the top to the bottom there's like a little numbers in it if you can see it and at the way bottom as well at the end and on the other side so basically all corners are numbered so they are numbers in all sides of this craft tool Oh, look at this. You can you can have this zigzag ones or red ribbon. <laughs> Bear with me, guys. Okay. A zigzag. 
a ribbon kind of style and I think this one is for when you this end is when you use it for you have a paper example so if you have a paper and you want to draw a zigzag I don't know if it works you just let me go see closer let's let's do the zigzag first and then it will help you make some zigzag ones to decorate your envelope see it's super nice because you just have to follow it through and look it will help you and then you created a something like that see how cool that is I like it and the hearts I don't know if I can find the heart uh, I don't know what I'm doing but I'm trying to find something okay <laughs> you gotta really have to figure it out where you're headed because sometimes it's not good when you just keep on guessing like me it's like you're embossing them guys you emboss them oh how cute that is look how cute that is you guys not nice you raise that point and you can decorate your envelope with that situation look how cute that is isn't it cute okay so in this area they will show you the select the card and then they have the card measurement down here the inch of a card or that's the inch chart and the card size so you can make your own envelope okay so this is from the paper studio that is awesome I think it's just awesome and then they have the score guide and all the way down there's also an engraved numbers and let's figure this out how this one works okay all right so we have the card size we're going to make the a2 size and it shows here the paper size would be eight by eight okay so now we have to use the scale mark so all you have to do by eight by eight so we have to put them in three and a half so the three and a half should be right there hello so I'm back I just cut this paper and it was eight by eight because it says here we are going to make the regular a2 size of paper which is that size okay the a2 and it says the paper size would be eight by eight and we have to mark the scale by three and a half so what we can do I have this plain one and you can always matchy match your card I have this one I have this tutorial on my my uh, YouTube channel that I showed about this tutorial you can check it out and anyway this one is I'm trying to make a card that would match almost like that as my envelope and this could be the inside this is just a practice you guys you can always match it match but for now I just grab this paper for the tutorial purposes okay so it says here that we have to mark the scale in three and a half usually here it usually shows here but if someone's showing you it's even more easier right guys so it says here we have to align the paper okay this is how it goes when you score it like this it doesn't look right so it just doesn't look right when you score it this way see because of that number and it doesn't look right so you start at what it says in three and a half from top okay start at the top it goes to the top and you put your paper at the three 
and a half just right there so it says three and a half if you can see it so three and a half and you score it all right and see the line mark that I just did you turn it head it to the score guide see the score guide you have to match that line from the one that you scored you match that to that line see how they are lined up and you have to repeat the number five and six instructions so for now I'm showing you right now what I'm doing so you score this first in three and a half and you align or you line that up from that score guide okay so you have a successful envelope all right so you score it all right so and then do it again same way what I'm doing let me put it closer you put them on that score guide again right here see that score guide you make it lined up again close to that way edge on that little teeth so you score them again in from that line and go into this groove and score all right and do it again the same way line it up on that score guide and there you go you just made an awesome envelope let me go farther so you can see what I'm talking about all right so you just put this one aside now what we can do is we have to grab our um, notch poncher a punch notch whatever how you say it <laughs> so what we can do now is you see this little angle like a triangle ones so all you have to do is you match that pointy thing see this pointy one right here you match that on that line and punch it okay so when you line that up you just punch it and it creates that awesome groove that pretty and you repeat it on the whole nine yards okay three corners it's four corners we already did the first one so those left three so you punch it again and you have to make sure that you don't bite the way edge you have to make sure that you are in the right track okay you will see it you, you know where to go so you got this okay so there you go there's another one to punch it out and there you go that's one left and we are almost done all right so there you go as you can see it now it's much even more better right now the good thing about this is that there is a attach on it there is a corner puncher so as you can see there's a corner it says in there and I like about it because it's in one punch so you punch this right there and then you just flush it in and then you punch again and then do it the rest of the corners all right so now what we can do is we are going to use our bone folder and usually always remember guys that the one that we um scored should be the outside as you can see if there is a groove right there that is for the inside okay so you score it i mean you 
flush it down. Like press it from your bone folder that you have and do it and repeat it to the rest of the side that you just scored. All right, so now you have an awesome envelope. See that imaginary ones? Isn't that nice when you have a matching matching paper that you just made? And there you go. And you just have to put a, what I usually do is I put this two corners in here and put the um, double-sided tape or you can use a glue, liquid glue. It's always awesome with the liquid glue as well. And... to do is you just have to glue it and you have a matching matching paper for the card that you just made and actually guys it's very very easy it's very handy if you go for a trip or something and you want to make a card for a card party so see that you just have to do it and glue it down just like so and I like this design it's it's cute. I just leave it like that and some people they cut it down but I don't because that's how I like it. And now you have this A2 size of card and it just fits perfectly. As you can see, it just slides through real quick and look at that. You have an awesome card envelope that matches your card that you just made and this is what I made I also have this tutorial on my videos I made this one and I want to have a matchy matching envelope for my cards so I tried it and voila you have an awesome beautiful matching envelope from this paper studio um, craft tools and I like this one guys though this one needs to be in the same um, area all the time they don't have uh, something notch that goes with it but that's fine you know and you just have to put your scoreboard I mean your score bone folder and you just flushed it in and if you need it you can just do it over and over again and then you can decorate your envelope as what I'm showing down in this paper okay and that's it we just review these craft tool envelope maker all right so that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching Shasha SJ. If you have any questions about this or if you want to purchase this item, go check on the description down below. And don't forget to leave a comment or question that you really want me to try out so then we can try it out together. And thank you so much for watching Shasha SJ again. Thank you so much guys for the support. And please don't forget to subscribe if you don't subscribe yet. Check in there subscribe and give it a thumbs up right there and if you have any questions leave a comment down below and i would love to answer your question guys and thank you so much again for watching shasha sj you have an awesome day take care and bye